Schmo with the pro, with the former Strike Force middleweight champion, the longtime UFC fighter, Mr. Jake Shields in the flesh, Extreme Couture. How we doing? Uh, doing great. Just out here uh, watching my fighters spar and just chilling and uh, having a lazy day. Getting acclimated to the coaching life here at Extreme Couture, I see. Yeah, you know, I still go and spar with the guys sometimes, but it's also uh, every now and I'm going to have the days where I just go and watch and coach L a little bit easier. Who's looking the best right now and who are you working with? I mean, I got a lot of guys looking good right now, but currently I got Patchy Mix for the fight coming up, and I think it's April 23rd, and the, uh, he's not Bellator, 135-pound million-dollar tournament, and Patchy's looking just savage, just, you know, running through people, spitting everyone's hands, getting good. He's looking uh, he's looking vicious, and I think he'll be the favorite to win that tournament. Yeah, we're talking about the favorite to win the Bellator Bantamweight tournament right there, Patchy Mix. He's been in the mix. Yeah, you know, he's been top guy for a while, but I think he's really looking better and better every day, and I expect him to go out there and dominate that tournament. When you're looking at the guys who are training right now at Extreme Couture, what's the biggest difference that you see out there on the mats than when you were training in your heyday? I mean, it's just a lot different. Completely it's a different type of gym. We were like a smaller, more, you know, t tight family gym. So we trained a little different. This is a bigger gym. So you have people coming in and, in and out, doing their own schedule. So it gets a little bit different. And, you know, but, you know, obviously both options are good. I see you sporting that game up nutrition. Got to fuel that for the post-fight recovery, yes? Yep, yep. Like I didn't even realize I was wearing it. But yeah, that's Nate Diaz this is in, uh, my other friend Matt. It's their brand. So I'm always uh, always supporting my friend's brands and also uh, also free shirts. So it's like double. It's double win. I get yeah. to pretend like I'm supporting my friend and it was free. A win-win situation. Win-win, exactly. You just brought up his name, Nate Diaz, man. He's asking for the release from the UFC. We want to see the Dustin Poirier fight. Why hasn't the UFC made that fight? Yeah, I know Dustin Poirier has asked for that fight too, and Nate Diaz has asked that fight. The fans have asked for it, but they just don't want to give it for some reason. I think they're just kind of trying to screw Nate over. I mean, hopefully they'll hopefully come to terms. We'll see. I know they've been negotiating for a while. Things just keep being closed, but stick having sticking points and not quite being worked out. Well, when the Schmo asked Dana White a couple weeks ago in the post-fight press conference if he thought it would be more than likely we see Nate Diaz return with an extended contract, he thought that would be the case. Do you think Nate Diaz fights with an extended contract before he returns to the octagon? Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's possible. Like I said, I, have, I haven't talked to Nate in like 10 days, so I'm putting his mouth out. I don't know where he's at, so it's hard to say. But there's been there's been both, you know, fight, fight with his last fight or fight with the extended contract. But extended contract needs to be uh, needs to be big. You know, Nate, Nate D, as like I said before, has crossed into mainstream celebrity and needs to be pay like, paid like it. You think they're waiting for Conor McGregor so they don't lose out in the trilogy fight and maybe this summer if Conor McGregor's leg heals up in time? Yeah, I can see him pushing for that one too. That's a possibility because that's, uh, that's always going to be a big fight. If you were a betting man, do you think he ever boxes Jake Paul or do you think that's all smoke? I mean, it's, it's just hard to say what happens with his contract, how much he pays, does Jake Paul keep winning? There's too many variables to give, a, to give an answer there, but it's definitely a possibility. How about an update on Francis Ngannou? The Schmo still shocked that that leg injury was able to be disguised for the championship fight where he beat Cyril Gaon. Yeah, that was crazy. He had a bad knee injury coming in here before. And unfortunately, I think, you know, it kind of leaked out to his camp before. That's that's the problem with the big gym guys coming in and out. You know, someone uh, someone probably tipped him off, which, you know, Francis was smart not training here. The couple weeks, once he hurt his knee, he started training elsewhere. Small little private training. But even with his hurt knee, he went out there, got the win, got the surgery, and, uh, Hopefully we'll recover and be back fighting soon. How about the grappling skills of Hamza Chimaev when he stopped over here a couple weeks ago and trained at Extreme Couture? Yeah, man, he's extremely talented. I didn't have a chance to work with him much, just a couple little like minute positionals, so it's hard to hard to judge, but there's there's no doubt that he's talented. You think he gets the job done over Gilbert Burns, UFC 273, who's also a BJJ specialist? That's actually a fight I'm really interested with because uh, he's, he's an amazing fighter, but he's fought in really low-level competition for the most part, in my, my opinion. The last guy you know, might have been okay, but it was stylistically a bad matchup. So he's completely ran through everyone, but he hasn't fought anyone close to Gilbert uh, Burns. So I think he's like not one step up, it's like three steps up. So this is going to be an interesting fight to see if he's the real deal or not. And if he gets his hand raised, does he fight the winner of Usman and Leon Edwards, that title fight? That's probably how they would do it, but they also could do the winner of um, Vicente versus uh, Bilal. So, so it could really be either. You know, depends on how the fights look. It's, it's going to be one of those two fights, I would assume. Final message for all the Jake Shield fans out there worldwide. Uh, just thanks for the support all over the years. He's the pro. I'm the schmo. Extreme Couture. We're out.